At the University of Chicago Medical Center, the difference for our patients starts with the discoveries in our labs. We provide world-class medical care, but we do something more. We ask questions, and we find answers where no one else thinks to look. When you're on a campus that has you know, basic researchers and everything from ecology and evolution to developmental biology and genetics, that are together in the same institution with surgeons and cardiologists and, and other kinds of clinicians, what you have is a powerful new combination. Research leads to better care every day at the University of Chicago Medical Center. That means we bring breakthroughs to the bedside and then ask the next question. We're all on the same campus. So in the morning, I'm in the clinic, and in the afternoon, I'm coming back to my laboratory and talking to other scientists in the lab to help me figure out how I can help a patient who had just come to ask me about what to do about her cancer risk. The faculty at the University of Chicago are sort of um, immersed in this research environment, whether they're in doing basic studies like my group does or whether they're doing clinical research on patients. A perfect example of how research enhances our patients' care is the international work of Dr. Olapade, who received a MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant for her work comparing breast cancer in women from different areas around the globe. It's really fascinating for me to be able to go to different parts of the world and to see how uh, breast cancer, you know, what we used to think is one disease, is actually many diseases. Our researchers are always at the forefront, studying how our genetic heritage affects disease risks, with the remarkable discovery of Tiktaalik, a 375 million year old fish fossil. Neil Shubin believes he has found a profound link between fish and humans. It turns out our tendency to develop certain kinds of diseases relates to our evolutionary past. So by looking at this fish, we're learning about a piece of our own past. It tells us how our body was put together. To crack the biggest mysteries in evolution and cancer, Dr. Kevin White is teaming up with one of the premier computing centers at Argonne National Laboratory, studying how complex networks of genes work together. One of the ways in which the research is going on in the Institute for Genomics and Systems Biology is going to affect patient health is by screening their genomes, screening the state of their cells, and helping physicians make decisions uh, that will help put them back into a healthy state faster. Innovation is a way of life here because we've brought together science and medicine for more than 80 years. University of Chicago researchers pioneered chemotherapy for cancer, organ transplants, and the treatment of diabetes. Our tradition of innovation continues in the Gordon Center for Integrative Science and the Knapp Center for Biomedical Discovery, designed to help scientists from different fields work together with the most advanced technology. New conversations happen. New ideas emerge that wouldn't have happened if these people were working in isolation for them. There's power gained to bringing people together in new ways, and that's what we do here at the University of Chicago. What's next? We're studying the most urgent questions in medicine, from why cancer spreads faster in some people than others, to how we can personalize drug treatments to each patient's genetic makeup. I think that we are in a unique position at the University of Chicago to take advantage of all the best brains in multiple disciplines to understand the problem that we as physicians want to solve. The University of Chicago Medical Center. Science meets medicine. Science meets medicine. Science meets medicine.